Thank you, Lord Jesus. Siba kira, siba koba kaki baba sekro nonde. Barra de kega baba sekre de kura de kisa la manteke baba baye. Baka goronde li baba basaka taya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Li krate so kri anto paradegas soba akiko sakiba karadegas sakiba. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sabi baba so shakiba rakata la mante ke baba basapataya li ka koba kira sekre nando soko bara ye li ka baba saki bobo saki baba sate ke mante ke baba basake te ke dalaba bara baba basekre nando ko baba baba ye Mele guse grapataki solo konde kakatira ada kere digas. Rande paki salamante ke baba baye. Our children belongs to you. Our children belongs to you. Kakoronde pakira ha. They are tools of righteousness. They are a sign and a wonder from God. God, oh hallelujah, they are a sign and a wonder from God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, everywhere they go, they are a sign and a wonder. Manda kabaye, glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you to today's launch hour. So glad that you're joining us today. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the beautiful thing is that he increases in glory. He's the same. But the glory is not the same. The glory is greater by the day. You know, the Bible tells us that the righteous is like a light that shines brighter and brighter even unto a perfect day. Just like our Father God, who is ever increasing in glory. And that's who we are. And that's the character of our spirit, you see, we get better every day. It means that the you of yesterday is not the same you today. There is increase for you. There is promotion for you. You don't go down. You only go upward and forward. There's no going back for you. No, there's none, because there's nothing, you see. I'm pressing in, glory to God. I, I press forward. Hallelujah. Praise God. Again, thank you for joining us. And uh, before we, uh, we pray, I want to encourage that you share this broadcast with someone, especially parent, especially parent. You see, because yesterday I told you there's more. And we're going to be diving into the more that the Lord has for us today. And before we do that, I want to ensure that everyone that is within our sphere of influence have the opportunity to hear what the Lord has for us today. See, the Lord has been impressing has been a burden in my spirit and I share that burden with us on different platform and occasion and that burden has been for our children you see how that our children are a mandate an assignment from God to us you see they are not just here, no. 
They are here on assignment. You see, your child is in this world from God. He or she has an assignment. He or she is a mandate from heaven. And you have a responsibility to ensure that God's mandate concerning them is fulfilled. I dare say is a major assignment that God has given to you. And you cannot and will not fail. I prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus, you will not fail. You will not fail in this assignment that God Almighty has given to you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Today, I want us to pray. I want us to pray for kids, especially children who have been exposed to the corrupting influences of this world. I'm talking about kids that have seen things that they should not have seen. And in the process, pictures which are a seed has been planted in their heart and in their soul. I'm talking about kids. Again, I'm not talking about the, the soft that you find. I'm talking about the soft uh, X-rated uh, movies or scene. Uh, 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 I'm talking about the one that you, know, you see here and there. May, to us, parents, sometimes it may not be a big deal. But it is a big deal, you see, because the Bible tells us that uh, a little leaven, that's all it takes, you know, because our children are exposed to sex like some of us weren't. And that's not good. You know, you find this in, even in the commercials, uh, even in the children's movies. Uh, so it's as though they are not safe. And research has been done that early exposure to these things do have an enormous negative effect on the mental health of these children. You see? So, I'm not just talking about pornography. I'm talking about the softs here and there, the little here and there. You know? Uh, and we got to be careful. And we have to be sensitive uh, as parent, not to expose our children or create situations or environments where it is easy for them to be exposed to those things. Not because you want them to be exposed. Again, remember, we live in a world where they say, quote and unquote, sex sells. So they sexualize everything. So you live in a very hyper-sexualized era. And that does affect the developmental state and progress and milestones of our children. So that's what we're going to be praying about right now. We're going to be praying especially for children that have been exposed to things that they should not be exposed to. You have kids as young as five who have already uh, tasted weed. You have kids as young as eight. They've already drunk their first bottle of beer. You have children who are engaged in things that only adults should be engaged in. 
And we are going to be praying for these children. Amen? So, before we begin praying, again, share this link with someone. Text it to a parent, because some of our parents, they need help. And help is what I bring to you from heaven today. In the name of Jesus, I bring you blessings. I bring you the help that you need, my sister. I bring you the help that you need, my brother. Help is what heaven brings to you. And I'm sure by the time this broadcast is over, by the time this lunch hour today is over, you would have been enriched by the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Sora, kerondo sipa karondo loko paradigas sikra nande keradigas. We understand by the Holy Ghost that some of these things have happened. Some of these children, oh God, you know this, and that's why you're you're asking us to pray now. The condition of some of these children, even now. These ones that have been exposed to corruption and influences that destroys destiny. Nangromonto cobra diga sacte geradigas, the seed that may have been sown in your hearts. Ah, ya baba ba son teke baba baba ye, the bondages, cacronondo cronde kiza, shaki bobo salamante pakiga sacred day. They've seen what they ought not to have seen, they've drank what they ought not to have drunk. Not to have tasted the varunande ke secreti la karadegas lego ronde pa kila hasa sacredi. These things that destroys la ramanto sacredi. Pa shaki kom de lika kritnos kobradila lega garonde para defe secrondo losi secredi la paradegas liza atea. Ah ya ya bo 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 saki ba saki ba. Sakiba, Sakiba, Manto Kobo Ye, Sakiba, Rando Saprati Vejadi Baba Sate, 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 Kando Sasha de Beg, Rande Pesi Solon Don de Keta, Lega Rande Pasate Ka. I break it off of your mind in the name of Jesus. La Rama de Keza Laga Toro to say, I bring them out of the is bondage in Jesus' mother name. Ronda pasate kayala bande katoza ketayala bande le 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 rapapa sante kesala. I bring them out of this bondage in the name of Jesus. Kalamande le besate ke rande seliata kaye mando sita ke yalande sete ya. Remove this taste. Remove this Appetite Lega Rama Salabande Liga Radolo Dom de Petestica Lande Laro Yele Bom de Sacred Rida Sasha Kelelende Liro Bosi Aralande Rom de Pasio Shake Alande Pesiate Pod your minds and your conscience, O God, of this corruption in the name of Jesus. Pod your mind, pod your conscience, Le Rama Sayaga Bande. Dosikaya basala bande ribo sakila londe karia esam desa esam desa esam desa ikom desa ramande asetele bande setela hasha kara de la hakese that these words will be delivered 
from the corrupting influences in the world. Marunde Sekteka, that his children will not be captured. We will not be captured by the spirit of lust. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. La Rondo Pasika Shakida La Dada Basateke, Liga Rondo Pateka, Logobo Se Granande Kese Se Ira Akteke. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God, glory, glory, glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for you are merciful, and your mercy endures forever. Your mercy abound toward his children. Your grace abound toward his children. They are delivered. They are rescued. And that power is broken off of their minds in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the holy name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I, I want to read something <coughs> to us. Um, second. Thessalonians in chapter number 3. In verse 2, Second Thessalonians in chapter number 3. In verse 2. And I want us to pray for we should pray for our children. But I want to read first then I'll show you how we should pray this time. Yes, Paul is praying, or he's asking the brethren to pray. And this is what he said. Verse 2, 2 Thessalonians in chapter number 3. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for not all have faith. We are praying specifically that our children will be delivered from every form of abuse, especially sexual abuse in children. And that's our prayer. Because I understand that the enemy has taken advantage of some of these abuses as a way to permanently lodge himself in the lives of many. Do you realize there are many today, even in church, who are fighting some demons because of an abuse that happened to them when they were a child? There's a, a minister of God that I won't call his name. Uh, and he's been open about this. When he was a child, he was sexually molested by a family member. A man abusing a boy. And that evil spirit, through that experience lodged 
himself, attached himself to this young man. And of course, he's a minister now. But he said, even now that he's a minister, he's, he's still fighting those pictures. He still fight those pictures to this day. The last time that I heard, he's not married, never been married. He's fighting the thoughts of homosexualism. See, there are kids that were molested as uh, adults now who were molested as kids who by virtue of that experience have turned into something that even themselves can't even believe. Some of them have an alternative lifestyle. Some of them have, uh, have made a lifestyle out of things that without such experience, they wouldn't have. Some of them have gone in, some, in, in a way that it takes someone who have lost their mind to be engaged in, in such acts, nonetheless have it as a lifestyle. I'm not saying that everyone who have an alternative lifestyle were abused sexually, but majority of them, if you listen to them, they'll tell you that what you see today didn't just happen overnight. They can trace it back to being molested, abused by an adult. So we are going to be praying, you see, especially for those who the condition is ripe for such abuse to occur. We're going to pray that God will deliver them from wicked and unreasonable men who have intention of sexually abusing them. Let's pray now. And you're going to be praying not only for your children. You're going to be praying for your, your niece, your nephew, or your nieces or your nephews. You're praying for your grandchildren. You're praying for the children that are connected to you that they will be delivered. They will be delivered from men and women that have appetite, that have undisciplined appetite, strange feelings toward children. Pray now. In Jesus' name. Again, Lord, we thank you. For you are wonderful. You are merciful. You are gracious. And you are loving. Maliko so pakida hasakara deke sekra nina kase. You love these children so dearly. Marundo secret, mighty and powerful things you have in store for these children. And we can on the ground, the Karadega secret. Yes, 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 Karade Selemande Pratila, yes, Karadaka secret, Ila, Pradido Soko Gorodega secret, Maradegas, yes, yes, Katale Bonde Kasi Karadega secret, Delo. Rande feces o cronon de paradeges, radela gosco rafatala geses e cradira, comonte fecitala de gosom de practegira, liga socia ara afetea, ara afetea, ara afetea, magos cobra di la feradiga sac de gero, brafet ilogom de pegas. Pegas, Pegas, Pegasa, Pegasa, Pega, Akataya, Rande, Aya, Ya, 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 Ya
Alo rondo pa ke le dese se krenendo so prodolo. Liga asata ke gronde. Asa ate gronde. Asa ate gronde. Asa ate moko bobo sapa ate kaya lande se te kaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, that these ones be delivered from wicked and unreasonable men, from pedophiles. Koraman manso kronde legas kasha. I understand, sir. Yes, I understand. I understand. Logo baka shamte pakira legro non ske kriste la kasa sekretira paki le do sekrenande kese sekretira lega social amante pakira 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 pakira. Legro non ski secretila para deke fete si fadea 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 mara deke fete tele tu coso sopra dila que te secretila pere dica sa secreta dica le granda pa secretila cara dica le nana nan si catela go so sopra dila para deke nan credele sombra for a deke se secretila la da 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 I cancel every opportunity male go se catela gati manto solo monde for evil to prosper in the life of these children in the name of the Lord Jesus Larka de Shale Manta Kade Ashade Manta Gasheta Katatata Rabba Baba Sinto Lobon de Ketesila Katatata Rabba Baba Seke Dolo Monte Sekida Dada and it shall not come to pass and it shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus it shall not come to pass it shall not come to pass the expectation of the wicked shall not come to pass. In the name of the Lord Jesus, their plans are fruitless. Their plans are void in Jesus' mother name. They are unable to perform enterprises to destroy these children. Nanto kobu shalamandikes. It shall be so, it shall be so, that the enemy failed. And even now I see him falling. I see him falling, and these children are rescued in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your mercy. Yes, I can see your goodness. Yes, I can see your goodness. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. This is the goodness of the Lord. This is the goodness of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, I want to share, uh, now just in case, uh, uh, I know I can, I can, I can, I sense that there's a parent, you, you have seen your child uh, with X-rated uh, material on their phone and you've seen, you've seen that they have been consuming uh, uh, porn and you have been concerned, uh, the Lord is asking me to tell you, have no fear. You've asked me, and I've done it. And the Lord is going to be ministering to you on actions that you should take. And the Lord is asking me to tell you, don't be afraid to take those actions. See, so as the Lord ministers to you, don't be afraid. You see, whatever the Lord tells you to do with respect to your kid, do it. All right? Because only God has the solution. And the solution, he said, I have given to you. I've delivered your, 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 your child. I've delivered them. Because here's what the Lord said. He said, that's what the enemy has been using to destroy the destiny of that child. That the Lord, that the enemy had sought from birth to destroy that child. And along the line, he found a perfect way, but that was not his original plan to destroy this child. But along the line, this opened up, 
And the Lord is saying, I have delivered your child. And I'm going to be speaking to you on what you must do. Praise the Lord Jesus. Today, I want to talk to you uh, uh, about how to... Uh, now, you can phrase this topic the way the Lord ministers to you. But how to recalibrate, reset, or troubleshoot your children when you observe they are not going in the way that they should go. Again, remember, there are things that the Lord will not do for you with respect to your children. It is your responsibility. And God has given you the two to get the job done. I'm speaking, for example, if you notice, our praying and the way the Lord has been ministering during prayer has been how or breaking the corrupting influences of this word off of the mind of our children. Because our children are too exposed. They are too exposed. Even some of you who are homeschooling your children, they are still exposed. They are still exposed. And these are ways that the enemy captures the soul of children for destruction. So, as a believer, as a Christian parent, what do you do when your child is overexposed or even exposed to things that they should not be exposed to? And now you can tell traits in their behavior and mannerism. What am I supposed to do? Because God has given me the responsibility to raise and to train my child in the way. What do I do when they are not going in the way that I'm trying to lead them? Say, so for example, you have a 13, 14 year old child. Suddenly, he or she says to you, I don't want to go to church with you anymore. And you're wondering, where did that come from? And that's heartbreaking for parents. And are you thinking, I have, I have murdered uh, the, the Christian life before this, before this one. I have, I have I've always done what I believe the Lord wants me to do. And where is this coming from? I don't want to go to church anymore. Where did that come from? When they start to speak strangely. And where you can, even to those of you who are sensitive, you can tell that that's the spirit of the Antichrist speaking through him, speaking through her. What am I supposed to do? When I thought I have done everything that I knew to do with this child to raise them in that way and in the things of God, now they are teenagers and suddenly they don't want to know or hear about Jesus. And some of them can even tell you, please, I don't want to hear the name Jesus anymore. Take your prayer somewhere. That's heartbreaking. For your child to tell you, ah, please take your prayer somewhere. I'm not talking about adult children. I'm, I'm talking about teenagers, 14, 15, 16. And they have started to, to manifest some strange behaviors. You wonder, where did they come from? I want to talk to you. Some of the things that you should do. You see? Because these things are an attack from hell. It's an assault from hell. Not only to destroy them, but also to distract you, ultimately to also destroy you as a parent. Do you realize that many parents are in a tsunami today 
their circumstance can be likened to a hurricane because of their children. Do you know how many parents are in pain as we speak right now? Not because of anything they've done per se, but they are in pain because of what their children has done. But again, it didn't just happen by accident. Some of these parents, they saw it coming and they didn't do anything about it. So when you find your child going a different path that he or she is supposed to go, hey, what am I supposed to do? You see, what am I supposed to do? I want to remind you of some scriptures. First, I want you to turn your Bibles now to Isaiah chapter number 8 in verse 18. Isaiah 8 in verse 18. Here am I, and the children whom the Lord has given me, we are for signs and for wonders. In Israel, from the Lord of hosts who dwells in Mount Zion. First, it says, they, these children are from the Lord. God give them to you. How can God give me something? Now, we talked about this yesterday. See, God gave me stuff. And they are supposed to be a sign from God. But why are they looking like a sign from the devil? It's called the fight of faith. You know, I remember a friend of mine uh, shared a story with me, a pastor friend of mine. He said the son was... Uh, I probably was a sophomore in high school, uh, second year in high school, and came home one day and, and introduced uh, a lady to them that, oh, this is my friend, I mean, oh, this is my, this is my girlfriend. And, and he was, he didn't say anything, just kind of like, oh, how you doing, all of that. He said, when she left, the Lord spoke to him. And the result of that was, he said, I went into a fast for three days or so. He said, I canceled, I canceled, I canceled all my appointments for the next three days. I told my staff, don't call me. Don't expect a call from me for three days. He said, I went to a prayer closet or wherever he prayed. He locked himself away for three days. Why? Because God showed to him that this God was going to lead him in a different path other than the path that has been set for him. So he went into fasting. He went to prayer. He said, within a week, they broke up. Not because of anything. They just decided. It's, it's, it's like a mirror. In other words, he did something in the realm of the Spirit. You see, he did something in the realm of the Spirit. And that was it. Because this is a pastor's child. And suddenly, his attention has been taken away from God to other things. And it took the father, who was sensitive in the spirit to break it. Not physically. He didn't, he didn't say anything to the son. He didn't. He just took the matter to God and wouldn't leave until he had a note of victory. And that was so. And that was so. Brothers and sisters, there is a fight that must be, that must happen with respect to your children if they will 
if they must fulfill God's mandate concerning them. Because we just read, he says, the one that the Lord has given to me, they are for signs and for wonders. It means that they cannot not go in that way. They cannot not be a sign and a wonder from God. From God. So when you find them acting, you've got to go back to the world because the only way you can reboot them and reset them is through the word. Just like I mentioned yesterday that there's a manner that comes with every child. And when they malfunction, go back to the manual. What am I supposed to do when this particular individual who I have received now, your, 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 your son or your daughter, who that you've received from the Lord, what am I supposed to do? Get back before the face of Jehovah. Sometimes you don't need to say anything. Get back to your knees. Get back to the place of prayer. Because the enemy is about to snatch your child away from you. I, I had another story of this minister of God. Um, I, I believe uh, the child wasn't born yet. Uh, I, but in one of those hospitals' visit, they discovered that the child is autistic. See, through tests and all of that, that the child was going to be born autistic. Was going to have aut you know autism and stuff like that. He said, "I went into a a, a, a a season of fast." He said, "I actually locked myself for is it probably I think he said he fasted about forty days or so." He locked it. He locked the door and told the wife. He said, "Don't open this door. Even if I ask you to open this door, don't open this door." Locked himself and fasted for forty days. Because the destiny of that child was worth fighting for. Because the blessings of the Lord make it rich. This one that I have received from the Lord cannot be autistic. This one that I have received from the Lord cannot have cancer. This one I have received from the Lord cannot be blind. This one I have received from the Lord cannot be born lame, cannot be born deaf, cannot be... No, no, no. It got to be perfect because every good and every perfect gift comes from the Lord. And if children are a heritage and heritage from the Lord, it got to be good. It got to be perfect because anything that comes from the Lord is good and is perfect. And this child now that they're saying is going to have autism is not, that's not the picture. That's not the vision. That's not the image. If this child is from God, which I know is from God, this child cannot be autistic. He wrestled. He wrestled. He fought and reset. Troubleshoot. And that child was born normal, healthy. And today, that child is a minister of the gospel, pastor of the church in London, United Kingdom. There are others who they were told that, and they were like, oh God, you know, you know again, I'm not trying to bash anybody, but I'm, I bring a message from God to you today. There is a way to fight. If you're going to fight, there's a way to fight. And that's what the Bible says, fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. What's God's picture? The blessings of the Lord make it rich. And it does not add sorrow to it. So anything that looks like sorrow is not from God. I've got to fight it. I gotta fight it. I gotta I gotta fight it in the name of Jesus. I gotta fight it on my knees. I gotta fight it with my with my faith in God's word. I gotta go back to I gotta stay on the word. I gotta put the word of God before me. I got to put the word before me. And I will not stop night and day. I will not stop. I will not stop. I will not stop. I want to show you something. Especially, you know, it's my, my child is not sick, you know. My child is not sick, but uh, from the way this child is going, he's going to be broke. He's going to be a failure. 
And that's not the way that he should go. What am I supposed to do? You get back to the word. What does the word say? What does the word say? I'm going to show you now. You know, say, oh, my child, my child doesn't, you know, and, and all of that kind of stuff. I want you to look at, uh, we read this yesterday, um, Isaiah chapter number 54 and the contemporary English version. I, I want to read it from the Isaiah chapter number 54 and verse 13. Of course, you're familiar with this verse where he says, all your children shall be taught by the Lord. And I told you yesterday, the Lord will not teach them if you don't let them, let him. So you have a job to let God teach them. Now, in the contemporary English version, it says, I will teach your children and make them successful. It means that there's no failure. There's no failure with the one that the Lord has taught. There's no failure. You can't fail. No, you cannot fail. Uh, so, uh, but the fellow has a, has a D. He's a, he's a CD. Is he all his greatest CD? I mean, the, the, the highest is, she, 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 she's had is a C. And, and as a parent, you're concerned about that. Oh, I don't know any parent that will be excited for their kids to come back and it's having F and D, E. No, no child gets, no, no parent get excited about that. Because that spells doom for them. And please, and please, in the name of Jesus... Let no one tell you, oh, this one is not made for school. That's a lie from the pit of hell. You see, operation of a sound and an excellent spirit has nothing to do with school. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Again, look at it again. Look, look at what he said there. He said, I'll teach your children and what? And make them successful. I'll make them, I'll make them successful. It means that, like the Bible says, that man shall be blessed in all of his deeds. In other words, whatever he does shall be blessed, shall be successful. It means that we cannot not be successful, whether in education, whether in art, whether in, 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 in politics, whether in business. It doesn't matter what we do. Success is guaranteed. There's nothing less than success because we are anointed by God. That's... Isaiah chapter number 54 and, uh, and verse 13. But I want to show you this. Um, Psalm 112 and, um, and verse, thank you, Lord, and verse 2. Now, if we, if we have, uh, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus, the New Living Translation. Uh, this is what the New Living Translation says. The New Living Translation of Psalm 112 and verse 2. Psalm 112 and verse 2. Look at what the Bible says here. The New Living Translation. It says their children will be successful everywhere. It is in some places, some area or sector of the economy. It says... Their children will be what? Will be successful everywhere. Their children will be successful everywhere. So let no one tell you, uh, my child is not made for, for, for school. So what is he made for? So when you see these things, you get back to the word and say, Lord, I, I thank you because their future has been, has been defined. His future I see his future. My children will be successful everywhere. My children are successful everywhere. And everything that they find to do, they are successful. And now he's in the sixth grade. He's in the seventh grade. Uh, you, you got, this is all that you have now. You cannot not be successful. You see? I refuse in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible said they shall be the head and not the tail. Academically speaking, D is not the head. C is not the head. Even B is not the head. So I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Because the word says this is the way that they should go. They should go in the way of success. And now they are not going that way. I refuse in the name of Jesus. So you got to troubleshoot, and you do so by the word. 
And through the inspiration that comes when you pray in the Spirit, this is why you got to stand in the gap for your children. You can't leave them by themselves. You can't say, oh, I'm so tired. You cannot be tired. You got, a, you, got, you got an assignment from God. You got an assignment from God. My children are successful everywhere. They are. Glory to God. They are. And as you pray for them, as you intercede for them, as you do the rebooting and realignment and resetting, them in the path and in destiny that God has chosen for them. You've got to listen to the Holy Spirit. You've got to listen to the Holy Spirit because He alone will communicate to you what you must do concerning your son and your daughter because you must deliver this child of yours back to God. I did what you asked me to do. You asked me to raise them to be successful everywhere. And that's who she is. And that's who he is. I pray for you today that the Lord will strengthen you because I, I, see, I see a parent right now. You both are exhausted. You're exhausted. And you're asking yourself, who asked us to have this baby? Because ever since this baby came, it's been one trouble upon another. It's been trouble upon trouble. It's been trouble. And you can tell that some of the, the area that you're struggling in, I can tell that you are struggling financially. And the reason why you've been struggling financially, and I can even tell that there's trouble in the home. And all of that is connected to this child. It's connected to this child. And you've been saying, I'm so tired. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And now you're regretting. Maybe we should have waited. Maybe we should not have had this child. Because now you, you don't even want to have another child. Because of the strain, because of the weight of this child that you have. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. I declare that all is well with you. I pray that God will strengthen you in the spirit of your inner man. I pray for you both now in the name of Jesus. I pray that frustration will not overtake you. I pray that despair will not overtake you in the name of Jesus. Because I can tell by the Holy Ghost that one of you is planning of just leaving and not coming back. Like I'm going to leave this weight behind because this is a drag on me. I've not been able to do what I really want to do because of this child. Here's what the Lord is asking me to tell you. A miracle is coming your way. This child is going to be touched by the Lord. And even now, I can tell that the Lord is ministering to this child. The Lord is ministering to this child. And within weeks, you're going to begin to experience a tangible manifestation of the power of God that is upon this child right now. In the name of Jesus. Child, be healed and be delivered. I bring you healing. I bring you salvation in the name of the Lord Jesus. I rebuke the hand of the devil that has laid siege and claim over your life in Jesus' mighty name. This child is released from every curse in the name of Jesus, from every affliction in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed and blessed, blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Isn't the Lord wonderful? God is wonderful. God is glorious. God is precious. Indeed, God is merciful. You know, one of the things that blesses me is to experience the compassion of Jesus flowing through me toward children. How God loves children. How God loves children. 
and how he wants them well. Glory to God. And as for you and your household, I prophesy that it is well with you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only the Lord can do such a thing. Only God can do such a thing. And congratulations to you for the miracle he's done. Indeed, your children that you have received from the Lord, that the Lord has given to you, they are for signs and wonders from the Lord. Praise the Lord. So there is no despair. There is no hopelessness. Your children acting out is an attack. And you must deal with it from the realm of the Spirit. Praise God. Tomorrow, I will be sharing with you, and I know that the Lord has something for you, and you don't want to miss tomorrow's broadcast. You don't want to miss it. Make sure that you send this in yesterday's uh, lunch hour. These are the ministry of the Spirit to our spirit in these last days. And I say to you again, it is well. And I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, remember, Jesus is Lord. God bless you.